Not long ago, this town square would have been bustling. Built at the base of Volcán de Colima, one of Mexico's most active volcanoes, La Yerba Buena was once home to nearly 200 villagers. Now it's about as close as you can get to a ghost town. Just a handful of residents remain after a massive eruption eight years ago. In May and June of 2005, a series of explosions sent lava cascading down this riverbank right behind me. More than 600 people were evacuated and volcanic ash covered the state capital of Colima nearly 30 kilometers away. No one was closer to that eruption than Jesus Montejano. He's called this village home for more than 40 years and remembers the big one well. It was a big explosion. I saw lava coming down. We have about five big buses coming to pick us up. And most of those buses, they are with army people. Most of the locals, nearly 85% of them, observed that controversial military evacuation, leaving everything behind for good in exchange for apartments in a nearby city. Jesus was not one of them. For him, leaving has never been an option. Very hard, you know, for the people who want to stay here. It's hard, but we have many years living right here, so we are not afraid, we don't scare with the volcano, so we prefer to stay here, and that's our decision, we want to stay here. Same goes for Mikel Alonso. The mother of three grew up in this village and now she's raising her daughters here. The last time the volcano erupted, they ran towards it. When we heard the explosion, we go closer to see that. <laughs> we, don't, we don't run, we go, we go to see. Staying hasn't been easy. Business is slow, not to mention the impact of outside influences. The government was trying to put us out from the village, so the government cut the electricity, stopped the school. So we were fighting, we were talking, and we were right here. We don't move out from here. With the school shut down, it was up to Mikhail to teach her daughters to read and write. That is, until this year. Jose Cuautli sees a story of regrowth in La Yerba Buena. He moved here to reopen the school. There are just four students in his first year, three of them Mikel's daughters, but he knows his work means the village can rise again. For me, this is very, very exciting because I know about the kids, they really need the education because for many years they didn't have any education right here. For them, it was very hard. With the school open again, opportunity awaits the next generation of villagers. And soil rich from volcanic ash means agricultural employment for those who will never leave. For Jesus, that will forever be what keeps him here. He says no evacuation order will ever force him from the place he hangs his hat. I have cows, I have avocado trees, I have a coffee plantation also. So for me, I don't care. 